Hi everybody! So today we are going to have a look at the book we had a sneaky peek at in our phonics session yesterday, remember? Because it had some ch sounds in it. So let's read that title again. We've got The Crunching Munching Caterpillar and it's by Sheridan Kane and Jack Tickle. It's a fun name, isn't it? Now I have a happy helper here to help me today. Jacob's going to do some um, telling of the story with us. So he's here to help us. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You want a tickle too? Yeah. Are you ready? Steady. The crunching, munching caterpillar. It looks like the crunching, munching caterpillar's had a munch out of our book already. <gasps> Just like the hungry caterpillar. Caterpillar, they do a lot of munching. Here goes this one. Caterpillar was always hungry. For weeks, he crunched and munched his way through the fresh, juicy leaves of the blackberry bush. One day, Caterpillar was about to crunch into another leaf when crunch munch crunch munch crunch munch <gasps> Bzzz. bumblebee landed beside him <gasps> wow said caterpillar how did you get here simple said bumblebee i have wings look oh i like some of those said caterpillar Bumblebee flew up into the air and buzzed busily from flower to flower. I'd love to fly like that, said Caterpillar. Well, you can't, said Bumblebee. I've got wings and you've got legs. Your legs are for walking. I guess so, <gasps> sighed Caterpillar. Bzzz, zoom! Bumblebee flew off to the next bush. Watching Bumblebee fly had made Caterpillar very hungry. So he crunched and he munched until it was time for bed. Crunch, munch, crunch, munch, crunch, munch. <gasps> Caterpillar woke to the sound of twittering. Birds swooped and soared in the early morning light. Caterpillar was just about to start his breakfast when a sparrow landed beside him. I'd love to fly high in the air like that, said Caterpillar. Well, you can't. You need to be as light as the dandelion clock that floats on the breeze. You're far too fat to fly. Your legs are for walking. I guess so, said Caterpillar glumly. Mm, poor Caterpillar. Caterpillar carried on, crunch munching all day until light began to dim. Crunch munch, crunch munch, crunch munch. He wrapped a leaf around himself to keep warm. He was just about to go to sleep when <gasps> Butterfly landed gracefully beside him. Oh, I wish I could fly like you, sighed Caterpillar, but I'm too fat and I have legs instead of wings. Butterfly smiled a secret knowing smile. Who knows, perhaps one day you will fly light as a feather, like me, she said. But now, little Caterpillar, you should go to sleep. You look very tired. Butterfly was right. Caterpillar suddenly felt very sleepy. As Butterfly flew off into the night sky, he fell into a deep, deep sleep. <sighs> Caterpillar slept all through the winter. His sleep was filled with dreams. He dreamt he had wings and was soaring in the blue sky above the tall, tall trees. He 
he dreamt he was a dandelion clock drifting towards the sun. He dreamt he was as light as a feather floating on the breeze. When Caterpillar woke up, he felt the warmth of the spring sun. He was stiff from his long sleep, but he didn't feel very hungry. He stretched and stretched. And a breeze lifted Caterpillar into the air. He was no longer short and plump. He had wings. <gasps> Great, big, wonderful butterfly wings. <gasps> wow, said young butterfly. I'm flying. I'm really flying. <gasps> he was a very happy caterpillar in the end. He was no longer a caterpillar. What was he at the end? A very happy butterfly. <gasps> he was a beautiful butterfly, wasn't he? Lots of different colours of butterfly and patterns on butterflies. We're going to really have fun looking at those later on in a few days time. But for now, our caterpillars are getting bigger and bigger, just like the hungry caterpillar and just like our crunchy munchy caterpillar. <gasps> Look how big they are today! <gasps> wow! So the first day they were about the size of my finger, weren't they Jacob? Mm -hmm. Really tiny, really thin, and really wiggly. And now look, it's almost as long as the front of my finger. It's definitely longer than my fingernail. Really, really fat. And if you look really closely, they're not thin anymore. They're getting fat. Oh, look, that one's saying hello. And now they're getting fat and they're getting a little bit spiky. Can you see the little spikes on them? Super. Oh, that one's really spiky. Look, have a look at that one. Yeah, and you can see how they can wiggle around. That one's wiggling, wiggling, wiggling. So thank you for those of you who've had a guess at how many days you, you think are left before they start to make their cocoon. Oh, look, he's wiggling away. He's saying hello. Oh, is he saying hello? Is he saying, get out of my way? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so um, in a few days, we'll have oh, tomorrow we'll have another check-in. See what else they're up to. We'll keep checking on them every day and soon they will be wrapping themselves in their cocoon. So that soon they'll go right up to the top there. We'll see them hang down in their cocoon. And then we'll have another guess to see how many days it'll take for them to come out of their cocoon. Okay, there they are for now. We'll say see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. Bye.